Hello there. So, today I'm going to be reviewing Garnier Nutris Cream, um, 7.4 Copper Passion. Um, in a previous video that I've done, I did the L'Oreal Paris one. Um, it's 74 as well, Mango. Um, just a quick recap on this one. Um, it didn't last. Uh, it, it it faded out here pretty quickly. Um, this is about a month after, so as you can see, my hair it's a little lighter, but it's still it's still brown. Um, so excuse my dirty hair; I left it dirty so the color would come in properly. Um, but there were days where it would show up more, but on the days that it did. It, it came up very sort of metallic-y, a uh, weird metallic -y, gross colour. Unless that's what you're going for, use it. But not what I was going for, so definitely wouldn't get it again. Uh, the colour didn't last very well at all. Um, yeah, so forget that one. Today is going to be this one. I did say I was going to do a review. I was only going to wait a month to do it but I we had to wait longer because I went swimming and for some reason the chlorine destroyed my hair um, like I, I, I couldn't touch it without feeling like it was gonna snap off it was horrible so I've spent a little longer trying to make it better so uh, I am going to be doing this hopefully it'll turn out better than the other one uh, I really hope it does, because as I said in my previous video, I don't want to bleach my hair. I really don't. I like so having my soft hair. So, we are going to see how this goes. Hopefully, it will go well. As you can see, I look super hot right now. Um, it, was, it was odd, actually. This is the first hair dye I've ever used that you apply on dry hair. Every, every other hair dye I've ever used has said wet your hair first. So th this is new to me. <laughs> I almost screwed that up. Um, I So I, I don't know how that is going to be different. So I'm hoping that there will be a difference in you know, colouring or something because it was applied to dry hair. See? Can you see? Nope. Nope. It's all backwards. Um, which I, I'm totally happy to do. It was a little harder to spread than the other one. Where is it? It was harder to spread than this one. Um, and there was more in this one, I felt. I feel like I probably could have used another packet um, on my hair. So if your hair is, you know, any probably any longer or thicker than mine, I would definitely get two of these. Um, it was... Yeah, this was just... I think it's because there was actually three components to this, whereas this one's only got two. Uh, so I'm, I'm not entirely sure why, but yeah, I could have definitely used a second one. Um, also, the gloves in the other one are far better. These ones are like really, really massive because um, I have like really tiny hands. So uh, hopefully this will come out different because I've never even sort of heard of putting hair dye on dry hair. I, I don't know whether that's a thing. I've never even used this brand of hair dye before. Um, so I, I, I guess I'm hoping that it might come out a little stronger because of that. Or there might be a bit of a difference. Um, so I'm going to wait 30 minutes. Um, actually, it says to wait. I used option one, by the way. Uh, if you have this, it says to leave for 25 minutes or 30, 35 if you have resistant hair. 
or grey hair. I am assuming resistant hair probably means thicker hair, um, but I wasn't entirely sure about leaving in for 35 minutes, um, whereas normal hair is 25. So I've decided to go with just 30 minutes, um, probably because it will take me another 2-3 minutes to get the shower started and whatnot um, to wash this all out. Um, yeah, I really hope this works. So, I'm going to wait my 30 minutes and probably do some studying. So, I'll let you know how this goes. We have the result. Okay, so, it's changed colour, I would definitely say. It's better than the L'Oreal, yeah, L'Oreal Paris hair dye. Um... It's coming out a little more red um, just from my lighting. Oh, let's see if I can put... Yeah, there we go. That's a bit better. It still hasn't sort of come out this colour, like, at all. Um, which is disappointing. Well, it w should have come out that colour, this one. It should have come out that colour. And I don't really... I don't know. I, I don't think I would buy either of them again, but I'm not mad at this colour um, at all. It, it, it has come out far brighter um, than the other one. Um, and I do think it's actually going to keep getting brighter as well. Um, just over the last little while, it has sort of brightened up a bit. So, I, I hope it continues to get a little bit brighter. I was actually worried about streaking a bit. Um, just because it was so hard to... Not hard, but... I, I don't know, just a little more difficult to spread than the other one. But it, it, it's turned out quite quite nice I would say. I do think it's coming out a little bit more red um, than orange just on the camera. Oh there we go. That, that, this, this, this is good. That sort of, it's come out a little bit of a dark orange like in here. Like that's sort of more what it is. Um, yeah I, I can live with this. this it, it's nice. <laughs> Um, yeah, it, it definitely feels better on my hair. Um, yeah, actually, the, um, conditioner did wonders my hair, actually. It sort of, my hair wasn't properly, um, fully healed from the swimming that I did. Um, but it has helped a fair bit, which... Which is nice. Um, yeah, so, I mean, this is the result. If I do think I'm probably going to need to bleach it um, to get a better result. The co Like, the colour that I want. Um, but, yeah, like, hopefully... I think this was $12, I think. I think, I don't remember, I bought it so long ago, that I, 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 I don't remember, like, at all. Maybe I ha still have the receipt in here. No, I don't. I, I don't know. So don't quote me on that, but I bought this from Priceline. Uh, so it was still cheaper than buying it from, say, Coles or somewhere else. I, I think it's maybe twelve dollars. I think. I I don't I don't remember. Um. But uh, yeah, this is this is nice. I I sort of have the same feeling about this one. Like I, I kind of I, they are supposed to be sort of the same color. They're both either seventy four or seven point four. You know, so they're supposed to be the same. I would say this one is stronger. So if you actually have lighter coloured hair than I do, I would go this one. 
Um, I definitely think it's stronger. Maybe it's got to do with the fact that you um, you add uh, you apply the dye to dry hair. Um, but if you have any longer hair than than this, this long, um, or thick, my hair is pretty thick. It's getting thicker now, which is nice. I thinned it out a couple of years ago, and it never regained its thickness, but it's starting to now, which is very nice. Um, yeah, uh, so lighter hair, um, this one, uh, any thicker or longer, you'll definitely want to. Um, I think the mixture, I would say that the mixture is the same consistency as this one, but it doesn't spread as easily, uh, and there's not as much. This one you add, you add two, uh, you add this weird thing um, to the dye as well, which gives it a little bit more. Um, oh, my hair is the same colour as my bed. Look at that. Look at that. Ha! Huh. Not the colour I was wanting, but, you know, okay. Um, yeah, hopefully, I, I, I really hope this has been helpful to someone because this hasn't been helpful to me at all, apart from knowing that I don't want to buy this. I don't. But to be fair, it hasn't done anything horrible to my hair. Like, it, it's not falling, my hair's not falling out and it's not, you know, this horrendous colour. So it's just not my thing. But if it's, if it's your thing, definitely buy it. Um... I, I never really trust these things at all, ever. Um, I do think it's probably close, but it just shows up a bit brighter. Um, and I'm pretty sure this model's hair was bleached. They usually are. Um, yeah, so this is my hair now. I will either maybe try a more blood red aerial color um next time just because i uh, i'm I, I don't want to bleach my hair anytime i see any sort of tutorial about you know hair hair dyeing or anything the minute they say bleach or anything like that i'm gone no. so it it's not i i, I don't want to bleach my hair um so i'm going to either um go a more like red red like Ariel little mermaid red um, or I don't know maybe black I've been black before black was nice um, or turquoise I've always wanted to go turquoise and I might go pink at some point but pink will have to be a definite bleach of hair, so I'm not entirely sure I'm up for that yet. Blondes have it so easy. They, they don't have to do shit. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I hope you, you know, thick, dark-haired people, you know, got some ideas of what you need to be doing. I hope this helped. Um, it definitely, the head I definitely wasn't expensive at all, I know, because I'm on a budget, a big, like, well, tiny budget, so it, it wasn't expensive at all, like, it, I, I could afford it, so if I can, you definitely can, so, <laughs> yeah, um, so hopefully this helped, um, let me know what you think in the comment section below, um, I will probably just find the link to Priceline, put it in the description. So, yes. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.